Live, gikan sa INTV, CCTN, News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 2. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Kunsyal Archibald nagduda sa pagkumpito sa Cebu Bus Rapid Transit. Mabay nga midalaw sa iyong hinigugmang na priso na kuhaan o siya busod sa kundum. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Nagduda si Cebu City Consihal Nestor Archibald kung mahuman ba ang timeline sa pagkumplito sa Cebu Bus Rapid Transit kon CBRT. Tungod sa nakita niyang kalangay sa pagtrabaho sa maong infrastruktura. Gibutyag ni Archibald nga doon ay mga timailhan nga malangay yun ang maong proyekto. Si Archibald may angkod na dili siya kumbinsido sa resulta sa ilang diskasyon din matod niya nga gusto niyang madungog ang mga pamaagi nga mapadali sa pagkumplito ang CBRT. At tulad sa executive session sa katibukan nga target nga pizza makumplito ang maong proyekto karong nga Unya sa Desyembre 31, 2027. Igibase ni Archibald ang iyang pagduda sa obserbasyon nga malangay kinipaguman tungod sa package 1 nga unta tulid na kayo ang dalan sa kertibukan nga CBRT package anaa sa 35.28 km ang package nga naglangkob sa ruta gikan sa Osminia Boulevard paingon sa Cebu South Bus Terminal nga anaa sa 2.38 km nga gitawag og trunk line matod pa ni Archibald nga ang package 1 gisaad nga humanon sa unang quarter sa 2023 apan gisibog sa kaduha o ikatulong quarter sa miaging tuig apan sa 2024 na lang hangtod garon wa pagihapon mahuman Central Visayas naguna gawa sa Metro Manila nga dunay labing daghan nga mga nagparehistro lukop nasod offsite ingon man ng school based registration ipatuman na unya ang kasayuran hiatod ni Sherisa Mayoy Muabot nga ito sa Dulan 8,000 ang nagparehistro sa unang adlaw sa pagpangrehistro sa Commission on Election kagahapon na Pebrero 12, 2024. Matod ni Comelec 7 Regional Director Attorney Lionel Marco Castellano nga nahimong anaa sa katulong pwesto ang Central Visayas sa pinakadaghan ng voters registration na Tibuok na Soda. Diin ang sukbo mo ay pinakadaghan na nga nagparehistro nga may abot nga sa 5,089 na gikan sa Cebu Province, Tri Cities, Kun Cebu City, Mandawi o Lapu-Lapu City. In fact, sa monitoring na ako sa nationwide per region, number 3 ta after NCR and Region 3. So, maayo na kayo na siyang uh, turn out. No? Uh, the problem really is ang pag-sustain. Usually, first two weeks, tapag ginaitawa sa itong opisina. Uh, eh, ang problema ano yung pag-sustain. That is why we will be conducting off-site registration, kung naman satellite registration. Samtang nang hinaot si Castellano, nga mas mudaghan pa ang magparehistro, Lukup Central Visayas, kuman nga ipatuman na unya ang off-site registration sa mga tunghaan o kabaranggayan. Gani karong Pebrero 20 City aduna na himuong voters registration sa University of San Carlos sa Lamban Campus o sa Pebrero 28 sa Cebu Doctors University sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi alang sa mga tinunan na magtutudlo school employees o uban pa. Idugang pa ni Castellanos nga gawa sa voters registration aduna na ipaghimuon nga voters education seminar alang sa mga first time voters aron sa pagpahibalo sa mga tinunan na sa kamahinong dalon sa pagbutara panahon sa eleksyon. To guide them to understand what democracy and the importance of your vote in sa ibang daily lives. Panaglitan po. Sa barangay, mayroon kang importante kayo ng kapitan. Pagpili kayo po na iyan trabaho. Nahan ang amuang pagpasabot sa ilaha. Kaya we must remember uh, it's one way of countering na bitawan ng uh, kanang boot buying mga nagasugod mi diri sa mga eskwelahan kay gawas ni ini adunay ilusad nga register anywhere project sa mga highly urbanized city ug mga lugar nga sentro sa probinsya sama na lang sa tagbilaran sa probinsya sa Bohol Siquijor sa probinsya sa Siquijor Dakbayan sa Dumaguete sa probinsya sa Negros Oriental ug Dakbayan sa Sugbo Mandawi ug Lapu-Lapu mabail sa mong register anywhere project. Kining register anywhere project is naarani sa mga 
opisina sa buhatan sa Comelec sa highly urbanized cities sama sa Comelec, Cebu City, Mandawi, and Lapu-Lapu. Mga capital towns and cities sama sa Bohol, Tagbilaran City. Series of me, oi. CCTN News. Inay nga mo bisita sa yang live-in partners sa bispira sa Adlao sa Kasingkasing nga nabilanggo sa Mandawi City Jail Mill Dormitory na dayon na na hinoon og kapriso ang usa ka 27 anyos nga babae human nasakpan nga misuway kini sa pagpalusot og illegal nga drugas ingon man cellphone og sa pagdalaw niya kagahapon sa pasilidad. Matod ni Jail Superintendent Jonathan Baltar, ang warden sa Mandawi City Jail, nga maong babae taga barangay Kanduman, syudad sa Mandawi. Pagsuod sa maong nga babae na sila'y gipirmahan nga waiver, aron paghimo og inspeksyon sa lawas sa tanang adlaw, apil na diha ang ilang nga pribadong party sa lawas. Sa diang gi-inspeksyon na kini, nakita sa samin nga doon ay gitaguan ang madinakpan sa yung pribadong bahin sa lawas. Dito nasakpan na ni si Will, ang uh, gipatangag nga kundom nga sa pagsusi pa. Doon ay kinisood nga duha ka gramo nga gito ang shabu, cellphone, tinpoil o guban pang matang ginadili sa maong nga prisuhan. Ang live-in partner sa dinakpan, dugay na nga matod pa na bilanggo sa maong pasilidad tungod usab sa kasong illegal nga drugas. Vice Presidente Sara Duterte mitataw nga wa sila isyo ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos. Kinihuman sa mga pagsaway sa iyang amahan o gigsoon ngadto sa kasamtangang administrasyon. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Gian Navarro. Giklaro ni Vice President Sara Duterte nga wala sila'y problema ni Presidente Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. human sa pagsaway nga naangkon sa ingigsuon o amahan. Sa wala pa nakikita sa mga opisyal gikan sa Malaysia, gibutyag ni Duterte nga maayo ang nahimong relasyon. Wala hinunse ni Komento bahin sa nahimong tinagdanay ni First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos. May numduman nga sidang nilarga ang magtiayong Marcos paingon sa Vietnam, wala nagtagad silang Duterte o First Lady Marcos. Pakigistorya no sab ni VP Sara, silang kanhi presidente Rodrigo Duterte o Davao City Mayor Baste Duterte, uman sa nimong pagsaway nga tukang Marcos Jr. Dugang pa ni Vice Presidente Duterte nga wala usab nagpangutana si Marcos Jr. kung unsang mga bating gipamulong ang gipambutyag sa mag-amahan. Kung may numduman, na mahayag si kanhi Presidente Duterte so sa ka prayer rally sa Davao City ng sa ka drug addict si Marcos Jr. naghihima kakra usab kadugayan samtang nanawagan si Mayor Duterte nga mukanaog na lang sa katungdanan ang presidente o pagkasunod adlaw nagsori siya ngadto sa pamilya Marcos Gian Navarro CCTN News Nilanat ngadto sa unong kaoras o napanaugkat ang driver sa truck nga natrapsod sa iyang gimanihong dump truck nga nanimbuwan. Walong e sa mga sakop sa Alcantara Rural Health Unit, ingon man sa Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, ingon man sa Bureau of Fire Protection sa lungsod sa Alcantara, nagipanguluhan ni Captain Analisa Zarte nga nag sa biktima nga si Milky Miot. Hamtong nga taga Sambuan sa Bagatang Sugbo. Ang truck ni karga nga gimaniho ni Miot na atrasan sa nag-una nga 10-wheeler truck diya sa may sitio Kabaray, Barangay Lawaan, Alcantara, alas 10.15 sa buntag kagahapong adlawa. Ang 10-wheeler truck nga naka-atras gimaniho ni Rinaldo Panit, Tribunalo. 46 anyos, minyo nga taga Lamisa, Balamban, nagkarga og bus. Ang truck sa biktima nagsunod kang Tribunalo. Apan pag-abot sa tungasun nga bahin, naglisod sa pag-abanti ang truck ni Tribulalo o gatungod sa kabugat sa karga. Niatras o naigo ang truck sa biktima nga nirisulta sa pagkalimbuan o tungod sa kakusog sa impak. Naluwas ang truck boy ni Mayot nga si Jervin Camus, 35 anyos, nga taga City of Naga, habagatang bahin sa Sugbo. Si Tribunalo, kasamtangan karon nga gikustudiya sa Alcantara Police Station, samtang gihikay pa ang papakigsitol sa Netabo tungod sa disgrasya. Mokad to ato mga balita sa alas 12, sangan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang e, ang atong Sairi 47, karong alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi e. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTA in Chapel. Daghang salamat. God who brings new life to birth in me.
of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. As we begin a new season in the life of the church, together with contrite hearts, that's violet, we also celebrate today. By the way, many people are wearing red. Ako po the red go. Happy Valentine's anyway. But this heart that feels contriteness is the very, very, you know, point when, where God touches us and makes us feel that he loves us even more than the usually romanticized Valentine's Day. And so with this Eucharistic celebration with the contrite hearts, together with our personal intentions and those intentions entrusted to us, we include in our prayers those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today. And also we continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCT and through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service. So that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord weep and say, spare us, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was teared to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord.
A clean heart, great for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take me. the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustaining me O oh Lord open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now, is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Your Father who sees in secret will repay you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, 
Do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms giving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The good news of our salvation. Praise to our Jesus Christ. Gabi is among community mass. Kachika ba mi kanuna ni Father Jesper. Before the gospel, wala ning kantag aleluya ang mga seminarista. Ning bunga, aleluya Tuesday ba nang taron kay wala ni aleluya ugma. Ya karon gidugog among pagampo kay nakadungog mig aleluya. Bitaw, <laughs> liturgically speaking, it is a strict observation not to say aleluya because it is reserved for the Saturday or the vigil, Easter vigil. But we cannot always uh, say that we are not saying it anyway because when you translate it into English, it also, it is praise the Lord anyway. But that is not the thing that I'm going to talk about. Na connect lang. After the homily, you will be receiving the, the ashes on your foreheads. And there are two formulae, formulas, no? The first one is, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Which is not, the, was, which is not anymore used, because the more, uh, the, the, the more used formula is, repent and believe in the gospel. Now, this particular thing about repentance, this as, there was a mass that actually uh, was celebrated, and the deacon was actually reading something from the gospel that says repent and believe in the gospel from where this formula is taken it's actually in the at the beginning of the gospel of saint mark but since the deacon was so you know overwhelmed na kung baan kaayo niingon siya nindot pagkay pagkabasa rin siya repent and believe in the gospel okay wala lang yung tagda but then the, the the priest the celebrant kay the deacon was given his chance but then the, the priest at the end, uh, before the imposition, uh, be at the end, towards the end of the Mass, niyon siya nga. You know, nasayop ganina, ugsulti ang basa ang deacon because he's so, uh, kanang, nakulbaan siya. But you know, there is always a message with the word repaint. Nanuman, niyon siya nga. Because when you repaint, before you, you put the new paint, you have to take off the old paint. Imuhang kaskason ang daan nga, nga pintura because you cannot immediately put new paint on an old paint. Pino, tinood na. That is also what it means when we, when we do repentance. At tuam ng pagtangtangon o unsa ang mga daan so that something new will come in. So parehas lagi hapon, repaint. Now, repentance, which really comes from the heart, is always understood within the context of Piety. Okay? Piety, P-I-E-T-Y. 
Actually, in Latin, it means the, the, the masculine is pius. That's why if your name is pio, you have to be very thankful because it means loving. And then if your name as a woman is pia, it also means loving. That is where the essence is taken from. Piety is an act of love. And an act of love, actually even the, the crucifixion, Jesus suffering, offering his life for us is called expiation. No? It means out of love. So our forgiveness is out of love. It comes from the heart. Whether it is violet or red or yellow or green or whatever color the heart is, that is always where every good things and good and love comes from. And these acts of piety are seen in the context of the Jewish understanding, which is reflected in today's gospel reading, through three acts, fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. Now, we have been told and taught in our catechesis what these actions are. And hopefully, we have to get out of the idea and understanding that, Hey, ritual, Rana. Nagani o ba niyong hindi ko masimba ron o'y kay mabadlisan ko, di na ko kakaog karne. Hello! Bisag di pa ka masimba, basta kristyano ka. Berkuli sa badlis, berni santo, o tanang berni sa lent, if you are following strictly, we are all, it's an obligation. No? The, the, the ash is just a sign. But it doesn't mean you have not been crossed with the ash. Di na ka, oh, mukha on or di hapon ka. No? This is an act of discipline. This is the very reason why in the understanding of fasting, it's not all about food. It's about malicious words, anything that is practical or even watching TV or doing things. Ato bang hinahinayan ba, kuhaan? That's what the, that's the meaning of fasting. It's actually self-restraint. Pagpugong sa kaugalingon. No? Because some, most of us, for sure, identify fasting with eating. Don't you know that there are ages? No? Na, ang mga tigulang, exempted na na sa fasting. I thank God, senior na ko. Kanang na mga tambal na tumaron kay mga na mga sakit, mga maintenance, you are also accepted, uh, exempted. But it comes from your heart if you really follow it. Because this is an act of discipline. That's why it's an act of love. It is not being forced to do. Hinahang lang gawas nun og mahigugmaon nga paghimo. And most of all, prayer, of course. No? Di lang ingon nga magyama-yama tas atong mga pagampo. But it's actually the quality time that we spend for prayer. Not just a minute or two. But it's actually a prayer that is experienced when we, ex when we feel that we are in the presence of God. And most of all, it goes out into the expression of sharing. That's the reason why it is called almsgiving. You know, in Latin, alms is where the word is coming from is elemosena. That's why in, uh, in Greek also eleison, no? Lord have mercy. So almsgiving is a show of mercy. Now from the practical side of this, when I started teaching the seminary, I have a very beautiful, I always, I always call it very because it's mine anyway. You know? There is a very important connection between fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. And let me share this again with you if you have forgotten, because I always use this, I always do this. When we pray, we need time. And if we need time, of course, we also fast. And if we do not eat, or we only eat what is needed, so the time to spend in, in spending and buying for food, we spend it to pray. And then the money, that we save by not going to the store anymore, we give to the people. Muna ang tulo ka ipikto sa fasting, almsgiving, or prayer. It's a three-in-one thing. But the most beautiful thing about that is it always begins from the heart. Kinasing-kasing. Dili lang ingon tungod kay naghimo akong usang kaila, akong suod, 
o dili siya makahimo kun wala asad ko self importance no but then it is basically a loving attitude an embracing of the love of god who through this very love has given us his son and don't forget the second reading today it says there though he was no even if he is sinless okay for our sake he made him sin who did not know sin so that we might become the righteous god of the righteousness of god in him he who has no sin was made sin for us and this is the beauty of the understanding and celebration of lent he identifies with each and every one of us even carrying all of us carrying all our sins to the cross so that through his expiation through his loving expression of offering himself we will have life and we continue to work for this life that we have given so that it will be to the full as he wills it for all of us amen Dear sisters and brothers, let us now humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, Lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out your grace, the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son. Through Christ our Lord.
Dear sisters and brothers, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father that we may open our hearts to the kingdom of the Son, stay close with Him in prayer, and be active in works of charity. And so we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may welcome Lent as an acceptable time of renewal through their sincere works of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That government officials may be led to inner conversion and reject all kinds of abuses which degrade the dignity of the human person, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the mark of ashes on our forehead may remind us of our human frailty and move us to spend the gift of our life for the building of God's kingdom in humility and loving service to our brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who consecrate their lives to God continue to respond in the joyful living of perfect chastity, poverty, and obedience as a witness to the power of God's love manifested in the weaknesses of the human condition, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Lord Jesus may take into paradise our departed brothers and sisters and all at, at the end of our own journey, welcome us to that same place as he has prepared for us in the Father's kingdom, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our petitions. May this season of repentance bring us your forgiveness and lead us to the joy of Christ's victory over sin and death. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may he become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with the countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, together with all the bishops, the clergy, and religious men and women everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, 
I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Act of Consecration to St. Joseph. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O virgin spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, O guardian and virginal father of the Word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O great St. Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, the utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her to ad also adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all my faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not <clears throat> but that a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times 
but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Holy Mary, Saint Joseph, noble offspring of David, light of patriarchs, spouse of the Mother of God, chaste guardian of the Virgin, foster father of the Son of God, zealous defender of Christ, head of the Holy Family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most courageous, Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, mirror of patience, lover of poverty, model of workmen, glory of domestic life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, comfort of the afflicted, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the Holy Church. He has made him Lord of his household. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we do venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Before the final blessing, uh, wala ko nag-antagonay sa choir ganina. Ha? Kay, kam, ang mga pari ganit sa Collegio Filipino, mga pari na na, pag ana nga, throw him with him, kanta dahil tanan. Ah, amen. Yan ama yung nagsunod. Na. Yan, kaya di man pwede siya. Ingo na lang dahil may nga, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kaya di man pwede ang pulong, hallelujah. Anyway, it's just a reminder. no? So it's part of the discipline. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family, 